Well, hello, and every, everyone. This is your host, Ken D. Foster. Welcome to the Voices of Courage show today. You know, there's a lot going on in the world, as you might imagine, if you just turn on the news for a moment, you know, whether it's uh, wars uh, or poverty or the environmental issues with the pollution or ch climate change, whatever's going on, there's a lot going on. But, um, you know, uh, we tend to, on this show, to look at the the positive side of things and and focus on how to upshift our consciousness how to upshift our thinking how to think in terms of solution and results and be able to take the great challenges we have and we realize on this show we i've realized over the years that you know it really is an upshift in consciousness that's going to change everything you know if you want to change the politicians, right? Uh, well, let's start with nation states. If you want to change the nation states, you got to change the thinking of the politicians. If you want to change the politicians, you got to change the state, uh, conscious state of those who uh, elected the politicians, right? It's the people. So it's the individual. And that's what this show is about. It's about in all areas of life, we're helping people upshift their thinking so that they can live happier, live more connected, you know, live the understanding that we are all one. So today we have on my show a very special guest and he's bringing consciousness to public relations, to the media, which is something we really, really need. So we're going to have a great discussion on this today. Um, I'm going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk to my special guest. Are you Comfort, lack of mobility, your lifestyle, or occupation. You sit inactively way too many hours a day. Introducing Ellipse, the premium quality automatic seated exerciser that strengthens legs, increases mobility, and boosts circulation without physical strain or impact. It is so quiet that none of my coworkers even know I'm using it. Strengthen and tone your legs, increase your mobility, flexibility, and balance. Plus, stimulate healthy circulation. My joints feel better, my knees feel better, my back feels better, it makes me feel stronger too. Perfect for home therapy, whisper quiet to use while you work. My circulation is moving, I'm burning calories, and it makes me feel energetic. Call now and order Ellipse, the seated exerciser that strengthens legs, increases mobility, and boosts circulation. Call and get upgraded to the deluxe bundle. Get the faster motor for five miles of steps per hour, the step counter, the sport mat, and wireless remote. Call now. Well, welcome back, everybody. This is your host, Ken D. Fuster. My very special guest is Steve Allen today. Steve, welcome to the show. Hey, hey, welcome to the show. The doormat is open. The door is open. I'm here. Raise consciousness. I loved your intro. Okay, now, well, isn't that what it's about? Well, let me let me give you a proper introduction before we get there. So for uh, the, my, uh, my uh, audience that doesn't know Steve, Steve uh, has been... Uh, uh, in public relations for 32 years. He's a, during which time he has designed, developed, and overseen hundreds of public relations campaigns to promote clients' expertise, their books, their products, and images on local and national levels. He has co founded three different media companies Talkable Media, Enlightened Entertainment, and Steve Allen Media PR. 
with a conscious, which is specialized in promoting individuals and companies that strive to make a difference and an impact in the world. That's why you're here, Steve. I, hey, I hey, like, hey. you know, it's not, that's what, isn't that what we're doing here? You know, I tell you, I love you, brother, already. I, I love the opening. I love what you're all about. And I know you don't want me to jump right there, but telling people the only way we're going to change a thing is to raise consciousness. Everybody's got to realize we're all one. And if we realize we're all one and make decisions from that place, oh, oh, what a beautiful day. Huh. Well, you know, it's it's happening. That that piece is happening, Steve. Uh, people are waking up. You know, the news tends to, you know, focus on everything that's wrong in the world. But, you know, there's a whole underlying uh, group of people out there that are that are raising themselves up. They are raising their thinking. They are doing they're becoming much more in service to one another. Mm -hmm. They're you know, they're turning off the. Uh, so, so much of the old, I'd call it Kali Yuga values. Kali Yuga is the dark ages, right? The dark ages values, the dark ages of, you know, control, manipulation, top-down management, uh, competition, negative competition. Those things are going away um, slowly but surely. You know, we're going into cooperation to compassion, to understanding, to wisdom, to, you know, treating people with kindness. Uh, well, you're right. I, I, it's interesting. I don't know, as you can tell, I'm not a kid any longer. I don't know if I've ever experienced a, sort of the outside uh, external things that are going on uh, today. And like you said in your opening, from, you know, from, from immigration to abortion to the Roe versus Wade to political hangovers to the icebergs are melting to uh, we are, uh, the divide is just so interesting. And uh, it's, it's, it's really one of those things where what's the way out? Yeah. And the way out is what you, this show is all about, which is big hugs, brother man, big hugs. This is what the, this is what the show is all about. The only way out is to raise your vibe. You have to raise your consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. The, actually, the way out is the way in because, you know, to, to raise your vibe, <laughs> right? <laughs> to raise oh. our vibe is we oh. need to slow down, to still our thoughts, sure. you know, and yeah. to go within. Go within so oh, we don't yeah. go without, right? Oh, Everybody's go. used to running their lives from the outside in. Well, you know, I got a oh, car, course. I got a house, I got all this great stuff. You know, look at my companies. This is me. It's not really them. It's something else, but it's not them. <laughs> well, you make decisions from something else, which is interesting. You know, you, yeah. you're always making decisions from something else until you realize, hey, um, you know, it, it's me. I, I'm beautiful. Hey, the, can we bring up Yogananda? Yeah, of course. Love to bring up so, Yogananda. Yeah. You know, everybody who's listening, I'm talking to Ken, and, and Ken goes, So, uh, uh, media, what kind of campaigns have you, are you been doing, et cetera, et cetera? And I, I, I slipped, and I must have said, Well, we just did the uh, media about eight months ago for the Yogananda musical. And I think that Ken went, What'd you do? I said, yeah, the Yogananda musical. I mean, uh, the brother died, I don't know, what, what, 60, 1960, at the Biltmore Hotel in downtown L.A., the beautiful Biltmore Hotel down in L.A. Right. And I guess after a talk, he was yeah, introducing he, the uh, yeah. ambassador from India. Yeah, he he died there. in uh, 1952, and, of course, he predicted, when he, he predicted when he was leaving. He knew that. And if you ever study the speech around that he gave, you probably did right before he left. I mean, he's talking yeah. about uh, his native land and, you know, he's, he's he's just complete. And then he leaves his body in front of everybody. I mean, amazing. Wow. Yeah. You know, that's so, yeah, so anyway, it was a musical and we did the PR and he went, what? He did a musical. Yes. It was in their ballroom. It was it was fine. It, it was uh yeah. Any, it, anything yoga on this call. Yeah, he, you know, he was an important figure in, in the uh, the transformation of this country. You know, he came in in 1924 and, you know, uh, Swami Vivekananda preceded him in 1894, 1884, 1894. Ah. Uh, so he preceded Yogananda, but Yogananda was the first yogi from India that actually stayed, made his home here in his residence and brought the principles of yoga and meditation uh, to the United yeah. States. So. You know, yeah, yeah. all the yoga you see, all the studios, all the Hatha yoga. Well, a lot of that came from uh, from the yoga from Yogananda, actually. Yeah.
Yeah. And and you and I was told that whenever you left Steve Jobs' home, oh yeah, he would give you a copy of a, 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 an autobiography by a yogi. He was so moved by that darn book. Well, I I, uh, uh, I know that it was, uh, I've been told it was the only book that he had on his on his uh, iPhone. And uh, when, you know, when Steve passed, uh, Steve was a planner, Steve Jobs. And um, he planned his whole memorial service before he left. And when everybody uh, decided to, uh, well, when everybody arrived, they were all given this brown box. And when they opened that brown box at the end of the service, it was a book by Paramahansa Yogananda, Autobiography of a Yogi, and Steve's message to the world was self-actualize. That was it. That's really, that's his message. That was his the parting message to all of us, you know? So, yeah, we're talking about it now. You know, even 10 years ago, we wouldn't have had this conversation, Steve. No, no, uh, you, uh, you, the door started opening for me. Uh, uh, as a publicist, like you said, for way too long, 32 years. Uh, it, to me, it also started in the mid-90s or early 90s. People were becoming aware of herbal medicine. Oh, herbal medicine? Yeah. And, th and then there was a lot of talk about acupuncture. Oh, and, and, and a couple of celebrities came out. So you could see that something was occurring that there's an alternative uh, to, to some type of health vibe or an inner vibe. Yeah. And then everybody started questioning, more so than ever. I remember reading about in, in, in the valley here in Los Angeles uh, at, 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 a, at a, a temple, a Jewish temple, the young people were trying to do healing services. And, and the elders were going, healing services? What are you talking about, healing services? And you could see like everybody was sort of questioning their, their religion. What's it all about? Alfie, a little bit. Who, who's who? And, and I tell you, the whole Eastern vibe slipped in a lot more. And as a publicist, I noticed that I could get my clients dream experts, a psychic medium, you know, somebody who uh, dealt with uh, uh, mindfulness. I could start slipping them into different things that I never could. I never, you can almost feel it evolving up till like if the door is so wide open now, like you did in your intro, it's never been a time like this. It may be yeah. screwed up in so many ways, and it really is, but it's also the doors are all open more so than they ever been. Well, they have. And, you know, I, I asked the question, you know, is it getting darker? Is there more good or more bad in the world? Is it getting darker or lighter? And, you know, good question. It, you good know, question. And it's, good it's question. like, you know, it seems to be doing both. It seems to be, you know, the the uh, the negative seems to be expanding, but the goodness is also. And, you know, I, I know I've studied enough that I know that uh, you, we've had enough movies we've watched that, you know, eventually goodness triumphs in this world. And I believe that is yeah. the future for mankind. Although, you know, we, we've got some trying times to go through and we, we are going through them um, as we speak. But eventually we will have conscious leaders that will help us. But we can't wait for our leaders. That's, that's the message I have. You know, it's time for everybody to do their job to wake up and learn who they really are, step into their power, step into their brilliance, step into their genius and go out there and just, you know, if you do nothing else, go out and put a smile on a cashier's face at the, at the store and raise that vibration. I mean, it's, you know, it's, huh. it's that time. I, mean, I think you missed your calling, Ken. You know, you should be on the pulpit someplace. The, <laughs> I probably should have. Yeah, uh, I think that was my last lifetime, Steve. Yeah. I, you know, I think. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, hey, well, you know, um, it, it, it's, and you're right, because um, if you look around you and just wherever you're standing now and you look outside or even inside, but mostly outside, and you look at birds flying and flowers blooming and grass growing and you have an odor, a good odor in the air, like what, what, where am I? Where am I? It's not really a, to me, it's not really a religious thing or a spiritual thing as much as wake up. Where are you? You're on a ball that spins 24 hours a day and we're going on an orbit. What did you just say? I'm going on an orbit. What? What's go Where am I? Who put me here? Who put me here in this Irish old body? Who did that? How did that happen? So it's almost a wake up to what's it all about? I'll say it again. What's it all about, Alfie? Who am I really? 
and once you discover that there must be somebody pulling the strings and that person is beautiful and it's not really a person it's more of a it's more of a surrounding area i mean as christ said to his his apostles you know it's right here among the midst of you and you don't even know it it's all around you it's in it you, is you know, you know, it's, it's I, think, I think christ oh, said yeah, the uh um you know god is at hand right i mean god is like you know where's god yeah. you know um <laughs> i think we yeah. gotta answer that question. right well, well, listen, I gotta take a, I gotta you, take a you break, are. Steve. When I come back, I promised my audience that you would be giving them a few uh, free tips on uh, how to get conscious media connections through maybe social media or whatever you do. So we'll be right back and talk to, talk to you about that. Discomfort, lack of mobility, your lifestyle, or occupation. You sit inactively way too many hours a day. Introducing Ellipse, the premium quality automatic seated exerciser that strengthens legs, increases mobility, and boosts circulation without physical strain or impact. It is so quiet that none of my coworkers even know I'm using it. Strengthen and tone your legs, increase your mobility, flexibility, and balance. Plus, stimulate healthy circulation. My joints feel better. My knees knees feel better, my back feels better, it makes me feel stronger too. Perfect for home therapy, whisper quiet to use while you work. My circulation is moving, I'm burning calories, and it makes me feel energetic. Call now and order Ellipse, the seated exerciser that strengthens legs, increases mobility, and boosts circulation. Call and get upgraded to the deluxe bundle. Get the faster motor for five miles of steps per hour, the step counter, the sport mat, and wireless remote. Call now. Imagine, this is your money, and someone wants to take it from you. Who is it? The IRS. Guess what? They want your money, and they can take it, all of it if they want. Remember, they sent you that letter right over here that said, hey, you owe us a bunch of cash, and we're gonna take it from you right now. So what do you do? You fight back by letting our team of experts work it out with the IRS so you can keep your money. And hey, we're good at what we do. When you hire us, you get a team of guys on your side that know the IRS laws and will fight really hard to save your money. So, if you owe the IRS a ton of cash and you want to keep it, call right now and learn for free how we can help you put it back in your pocket. Five minutes of your time right now can save you thousands of dollars. And the best part, it's a free call, so please call right now. Welcome back. This is your host, Kendi Foster. Before I get back to my guest, Steve Allen, I want to mention to you that we have a YouTube channel that I encourage you to subscribe to so that you can get all the shows. And by the way, this is a conscious show. So we want you to consciously let others know about this show, right? The people that, the people that you know that would really benefit by listening and being able to maybe change their thinking, change their point of view, their perceptions, you know, their habits, that type of thing. This show will help you do that. And more importantly than that, it'll help you to step into your own power. All right, I'm going to get back to my guest, Steve Allen. Here we are. Steve, welcome here again. Welcome, uh, welcome, all right. welcome. So, yeah, so yeah. first, some tips on tips on getting some, uh, a, you know, some conscious social media public uh, relations uh, yeah. free tips. I need some free tips from you. 
<laughs> well, yeah, How do we um, get PR for free? <laughs> you know, we, we are uh, currently an eight-member team. Uh, we all work remotely except in this office. We actually have three, sometimes four, but everybody works remotely from their home. Two in San Francisco and a couple back east. Um, it's interesting, you know, uh, and I was, this is how this all started. I was talking to Ken, you know, of course, <clears throat> I can clean my own gutters. I can change my own oil if necessary. And that list goes on. But, you know, if, if, if you don't want to hire a publicist, there's so many things that you can do alone to get your voice out there, your message, your book, your product. So I think that's what titillated Ken about what, what could we share uh, to people. and. Um, it's surprising how much Google has. I mean, Google has everything, everything. You can type in, if you're listening to everybody, and you have, say, a book or you want to talk about something, and you live in the uh, greater Sa uh, Sacramento area or Memphis, beautiful Memphis, Tennessee, you can type in, uh, in, in Memphis, uh, give me the local media, uh, give me uh, uh, TV shows, et cetera, et cetera, and they pop up. And they also give you their email addresses, which is cool. And then what you do is you look up how to write a press release. And I tell you, Google has all kinds of uh, information to share. And uh, it'll tell you how to write one, which is always a one-page release. So now you learn how to write a one-page release. You get the, the local media. You get their email addresses. And you send it to them. And you write it professionally. You don't. You know, you, 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 you copy what they're telling you how to write one. Because the more a professional, cool person you look like, the, you enhance your chances to getting on a lot more. Um, so then you send it up, and then you wait a week, and you resend it. If they happen to leave a phone number, call the station, ask for the newsroom, and they pick it up. Newsroom, can I help you? Yes. I, my name is, and I live locally. I've sent a couple releases in. Uh, oh, well, let me see if they're there. And, they, and they'll look at it or what have you. You have to be persistent. You have to knock on doors. You know, you have to, like anything else, getting a job, uh, you know, getting a spouse, getting anybody. You have to be persistent and go for it. Uh, but it's easy. It's, it's, it's easy to yeah. do. It's not hard. Does that help? You? Well, I know. I, I think that persistent piece is really important, Steve. I know we get about 400 people a month applying to be on my show. Oh, boy. And, oh, boy. And, yeah, I know. We get a lot. So, uh, you know, I honestly, I've got maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds. I, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to judge you quick. You know, are you going to be on or not? And, you know, it really helps to have a graphic in there, uh, you know, picture of that person, that book, you know, those types of things, you know, a, a copy that I, I, I can read really quick. You know, what 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 are you talking about? Well, I don't you know, also to don't ever forget uh, 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 USA Today, a newspaper that came out back when, boy, they really right. they copied the, the People magazine format, which was like you're talking about something up top uh, real, that catches your eye, uh, so, you know. A short, short paragraph, boom, boom, boom. The, the, the days of the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, the big lengthy two page writing, uh, all kinds of writing, right? No, no, it's gone, gone. <clears throat> it's right to the point. Make it like, I hate to say it, like opening a trench coat. Ah, ah, you know, you, you, you <laughs> everybody look quickly. I think that's true. That's a good analogy. <clears throat> No, it, it is. You give a good headline and a little underneath and I'll quickly write to it. If you got a picture of the book or yourself, put it in there, um, like you're saying, a graphic. But it's very doable. You got to roll your sleeves up and you got to get, you know, you got to go for it. Um, yeah, so, what we do full time. Hey, Steve, you know, there, there's, a, there's a lot of different types of PR out in the world. What, oh, what do you guys specialize? What do you specialize in? Steve? Good, Good question. We specialize in media placement. You know, authors will approach us, lifestyle experts. Uh, we're doing a lot more in the climate area, too. Uh, you know, people who want to make a difference in life. You know, they, they got they they lay in bed at night and they get a vibe. I got to get my message out there, my book, my you know, my small company out there. I got to get it out there. Very doable, very doable. And, uh, you know, they, they approach us. And, uh, you know, we ask for guidance. I hate to so – I can go there. We ask for guidance. And uh, – if it makes sense, it makes sense. We don't advertise. We don't don't go there. We're very fortunate.
uh, word of mouth has been very good for us. And uh, we have some, uh, hey, I think I told you, we got hired by the Dalai Lama. I got hi We got hired by the Vatican. I've done three, not one, but three Eckhart Tolle events. You know, unbelievable. Uh, Happy Science out of uh, Japan. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah, look yeah. them. I've done Anaheim, several movies, yeah. Yeah, we, which we worked with you on, I think, one of them. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you know, that list goes on. Wayne Dyer, work with Wayne Dyer. I mean, uh, it's it, how, how that happens. But we, we, that's, that's where our mindset is. You know, we're into our, our tagline is PR with a conscience. So, you know. We, we all say our gratitude. We look for, well, here we go, here we go. And we're very fortunate. That's how it happened with you. I'm on, I mean, well, it is. If, we, yeah, I've had, you know, how we, how we met was we, you know, your, uh, your PR uh, press releases and, you know, you sent them out yeah. for your clients. And I, you know, I looked at the clients. I was like, oh, you know, this one's yeah. good. This one's good. We've had a whole bunch of your clients yeah. on, uh, on the shows over the years. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's no, so nice we're to we're have we're you. Lucky. Finally. I finally get Steve I, out. I, Again, uh, I know. Man, Look at man, him. We are. This is pretty good. I get the, I get the crazy guy. Ah, whatever. Okay. But yeah, no, it's a. Uh, but I've been married to the same lady uh, uh, forty years now, and uh, I'm a lucky guy, Ken. I got four grown children, and uh, we're, we're we're you know we're we're clear, and uh, you know I'm a lucky I'm a lucky lucky man. Yeah. Yes, you are, my friend. Well, listen, I'm gonna take a quick break. We get back. Uh, we're gonna explore what the media trends are with consciousness now. Oh. Where, where is that going? So we'll be right back. Got it. Hi, everyone watching at home. We're here to remind you that if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, listen up. We have live agents available right now to answer your questions and tell you how much your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Gina Belich here with spokesman and TV personality Tom Mustin with us in the Help Center. So Tom, phones are really busy over there. Tell us what kind of calls you're seeing. Well, Gina, first off, thank you for having me here in the call center with you. We always enjoy talking to the viewers and getting folks the compensation that they deserve. You know, we're seeing calls about all kinds of accidents, but the most common by far has been car accidents. So if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, give us a call right now. You'll speak with a live person Person. They'll answer any questions you have and tell you if you have a case and how much your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Tom. All right, folks at home, you heard it. Take advantage of this opportunity and call now. Hi, folks. Joe Namath here. Did you know that I wear hearing aids? I love my hearing aids, and I am here to help you get a deal on the same brand I wear. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get MD Hearing's revolutionary Neo hearing aids for just $297 a pair. The Neo is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier, with rechargeable technology many customers say is superior to more expensive models. And you can get two Neo hearing aids with a 45-day risk-free trial, free shipping, and free lifetime US-based support for only $297. The Neo is nearly invisible with its tiny in-the-ear canal design. Call my friends at MD Hearing and get the over-the-counter hearing aids that I use for you. Call now and get not one, but two Neo hearing aids for just $297. 800-789-7885. Again, that's 800-789-7885. Are you ready to take charge of your health and well-being? UK Health Radio is your ultimate digital destination for cutting edge health information and inspiration. At UK Health Radio, we know that good health is not merely the absence of disease, but a state of complete physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Tune in to our wide range of expert-led shows where renowned health professionals share about the latest research, practical tips, and inspiring stories that will motivate you to live your healthiest life. Don't settle for anything less than vibrant health. Tune in to UKHealthRadio.com, the world's number one talk health radio and podcast platform. Welcome back, everybody. This is your host, Kim D. Foster. I'm here with the media expert, Steve Allen. He owns a company called Steve Allen Media. 
And uh, let's talk about that trend, that con that trend in consciousness in the media. What oh, what is that? How do how do you even describe it? You know what's going on? It, well, like you know, uh, it, what's ever cool, whatever that means, is going on. And and like you 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 prefaced at the very beginning, the more the majority of people aren't working on like we're working on to get closer and closer to being totally awake. You know, we're, 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 we're sort of consumed by what's happening uh, with Caitlin, the Clark of the WNBA or, 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 the, or what's going on at the Cannes Film Festival and who's wearing what or whatever else, you know, or, or uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the political uh, trials that are, we're more involved with that and we forget about the good things. But I would say that's got to be almost 80, 90 percent of the people, Ken. Okay? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, what are the trends? You know, so yeah. if for me, we're always pushing things like you see it a lot. You see it an awful lot. People are really concerned with mental health. Mental health is a big concern for so many people. Uh, teenagers. Uh, we're working with a very cool group out of, a, um, out of Portland, uh, Peace in Schools. They have uh, almost 10 of the high schools teaching a class on peacefulness. For the, for the teenagers, how cool is that? So what's slipping in through, what's, what's the topics that you would think about? Mental health, yoga, uh, healthy foods, green. Um, you know, those things are real. They do get picked up a lot. We, we just put someone on the, uh, on the Senate floor uh, only four weeks ago, one of three people talking about uh, school lunches and what's in, what's in moms across America. Everybody should join them. Moms are very concerned about what's in the food. So nutrition, I'm, I, I'm repeating myself, but those are buzzwords that are out there. Um, you know, uh, but, you know, you, you, and you're also competing against politics, uh, Ukraine, the immigration, whatever. So we're always, as a team, observing what are they trending on? What are they trending on? Yeah, but uh, whatever. Is that helpful? Well, you know, I, I, think, I think a lot of, you know, I think you make a point. You know, a lot of people are focused on, you know, what's uh, what the media is throwing out to you. And, yeah. uh, you know, from my point of view, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, they come into this world and they leave this world with just about the same mindset, right? Yeah. But, you know, they're, they're kind of psychological antiques because they're not really uh, up with what's going on with the shift of the, of the, uh, of the, uh, of the world. You know, they're more, uh, I, I would say they're kind of coming in as takers of what we have, yeah. not necessarily givers uh, to give yeah. back. And I think what yeah. the shift is with the, like, you know, I had Dr. Greg Hammer from your organization on my show the other day. And, yeah. You know, here's, here's this well-accomplished MD who is really in a oh, place wow. of service. And wow. he's giving back 100%. And he's talking to people about, wow. you know, the real causes of disease. We're not talking about how to treat symptoms. We're talking about the causes and how you can cure these things. And, mm -hmm. you know, we just don't get that yet in mainstream media for whatever reason. We will someday. I predict that we will. Well, I tell you, there's so many, there's so many breakthroughs now going on in um, the health medical thing, like Greg was bringing up. Uh, it's yeah. just happening. Uh, but also, I, I really like to pick another one that really comes to mind, which I overlook, is uh, is the word meditation. Mm, yeah. Meditation, because what you're finding is like, uh, what's his name, Iger right? at at, uh, at Disney. He's talking about his meditation. Oh. He, how about that? He does that? Yeah, he does that. You, you're listening to some of, some of these big folks who are dabbling in meditation, like you and I uh, uh, do on a daily basis, because it gives you a, 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 a nice focus. But you'll see that a lot pop up. Can anyone talk about meditation or uh, different uh, ways of what, what kinds are there out there? Which is you know, basic one-on-one stuff, but it's out there, Ken. And where you're right, 10, 20 years ago, it wasn't out there. Yeah. It's, yeah, well, it's I, I, love it's have, uh, I, I love to have Iger on my show. We'd love to talk to him about meditation. I'd love to put that message in the world. You know, I yeah. think uh, but it, you're, you're right. You know, things are changing. You know, I know, uh, you know, like, you know, George Harrison was a big meditator. Oh, the Beatles, come on, right? man. Our generation. Right. Sweet a Lord. huge meditator. Ooh, I uh, really want to see you, Lord. I really, yeah. if, if, who's ever listening now, go, go on, uh, what is it, on Google or YouTube 
and get the Billy Preston live at the three years ago they had a whole big thing for uh, for Harrison Billy Preston yeah. live singing uh, My Sweet Lord. Oh my goodness! Uh, gracious. Oh, uh, my. I gotta see. I gotta see that myself. That would oh. be great. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was at his, uh, they did a memorial service down in San Diego in the uh, Self-Realization Fellowship, Yogananda's place. And his wife, George Harrison's wife was there. George oh, wow. was uh, a, a devotee of Yogananda. And he, uh, you know, I'll never forget, though, the, uh, you know, her presence, her power. And, and she described some really pretty amazing things that happened with George when he left. He, she said to me and the crowd, you know, so it's public information that the whole room lit up the whole room lit up light when he left his body oh wow he was yeah I, a lot of people don't wow. know that no um but you know that comes from his wife and you know it uh it doesn't surprise me because this man was he followed a path of self-realization he was you know he was dedicated to that um you know there's a lot of leaders like that out there but you know we don't talk about them we need to talk more about them is what i think yeah and you, you know I think Steve Allen needs to represent more of them to get them out on. on, the, uh, on the <laughs> no. there you go. Yeah, there you go. Good. No, we're, well, we're, we're, we're a lucky group. We are a lucky group, and uh, crazy. But you know, Ken, I want to say it one more time. I am so honored to be on your show, and, and for us to reunite as as, as brothers, and and, and yeah. Yogananda to bring us together. Um, yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. High five, brother. Yeah, high, high five. High five to you too. High five. Well, you know, for me, Steve, um, meditation changed my life. I started in 1992. And, wow. Um, wow. you know, at that time, I could sit still for at least five minutes. And, um, <laughs> 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 oh, wow. But, you know, for me, it was somewhere around 98. Uh, I found uh, the, the meditation techniques that Yogananda puts out. And quite oh. frankly, Within uh, just a short few months, I was able to do an eight-hour meditation. So that uh, you know, eight-hour eight-hour, yeah, eight-hour. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So wow. you know, wow. it uh, you know, it, it's just like you know, I, I I I've been skiing for many years, and and then one day, you know, I never liked doing those moguls, the big bumps. One day, I had a friend of mine who was an instructor. He says, "Let me teach you the technique." I said, "Sure." And within five minutes, my skiing completely changed. It was technique, just technique. The same thing with meditation. It's technique. If you have the right techniques, you can you can go deep. But you got to uh, learn the techniques. What, what, yeah. what was the number one technique that you learned? Uh, I would say the Yogananda teaches a couple of them. Now, one is called Hong Sa, and one is called Om, and Om technique. And then he's got uh, uh, those. Those are the two that first that I learned before yeah. I went into okay. Kriya Yoga. So those those techniques are very powerful. In fact, you know, people have an interest; they can go to yogananda.org and sign up for the lessons there. Yeah. They come every couple of weeks, and uh, you know, you can. You can learn it yourself, you know. Again, it's you know it's technique, no, no. Yeah. and that's where I'm at. I, I did sign up, and I've been getting those lessons, and I and I belong now to a meditation group, and uh, on Monday yeah. nights, and uh, and you're right, very difficult for me to hang in there an hour. I'm yeah. close. I'm yeah, close. I'm getting in the, better. In the beginning, it's close, but you know, again, when you start getting the techniques and you really get into them. You know, of course, no. you know, we can't be one foot in and one foot out with anything or, you know, it just, it yeah. just creates, you know, chaos. But when we're fully immersed, man, things change. I, um, my life has changed and I, I know so many people, so many stories that when, you know, that's why meditation is going around the world because it changes people's lives. It, uh, you know, and, and there's some, there's some people that in my life, I keep telling them, just learn it. You know, it'll, it'll, You'll have more joy and happiness. You'll live life in more synchronicity. You'll make better choices because meditation uh, helps us to awaken our intuition. But anyway, I don't know how we got on that. We're on media today. No, 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 no. This is what your show is all about, brother. <laughs> I tell you. And the only reason you're tuning in is for that. But yeah. uh, uh, I, I know we're getting closer to time. You want me to say anything no, to no, them about got, how another, I can we got, we got another segment to do. We're good. We're good on time. Oh, good. All oh, right out. Right out. Yeah. Please. So I just yeah. want to shortchange you. I'm, uh, oh no, you got you got you got plenty of time here. Yeah. So uh, hey, you see above my head there, the guy in the yellow on my head on the wall. Uh, that's oh, yeah. yoga. That's a uh, that's a uh, um, 
Yep. It's Kutan La, and, and Kutan La, and, and, and that's the Dalai Lama's oracle. Oh, wow. He sent the oracle here, and we did a 13-city tour with him. Wow. And he blessed me. He put one of those things on my, I can't, what they're, yeah. You, 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 whatever, you, yeah. And, yeah. And we hugged, and it was just beautiful. Well, right yeah, behind, right my, behind, right behind my desk here is, you know, I've got, uh, tell me. I've got a uh, a picture that was a a, a scroll. A, a pro it's probably eight feet by uh, two feet, about two and a half feet, eight wow. feet by two and a half feet scroll that was given to me by Master Shaw. I don't know if you know Master Shaw. Um, I know him well. Yeah, and he, uh, and you know, he sent it to me. We, him, and I did about eight shows together. And um, he sent it to me as a thank you, and I, I didn't know what it meant. But somebody told me the other day it meant greatest enlightenment, greatest enlightenment. So I got that oh, energy. Beautiful. You know, the, to Nicholas Tesla said, you know, if you want to understand the universe, <clears throat> understand energy, frequency, and uh, vibration, right? I actually said it in the you know, reverse order, vibration, energy, and frequency. And, um, you know, we... I think that's what happens with uh, with those clients that you you know you said that you just attracted in over thirty twenty years or whatever the clients that you want to be with right thirty years twenty years um, you know it, it's it's all referral my my business is the same way it's it's uh, all referral I mean very very little you know advertising the things that I've done <laughs> but I think that has to do with energy vibration and frequency what do you think. Uh, you know, how could I? How could I you know, argue with that? Uh, you know, that's like, you know, like I said, we do a gratitude list as a group. You know, we stand up, we meditate on our client, we ask for guidance. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's we all work as a team. Uh, not everything works, and a lot of times we're, we're able to head that off in the beginning because you can feel it not happening. And like I tell everybody, if something is telling you that I need to get into the media. I, you know, I, I need to get my message out there. You know, I, I should be on television. I, I could handle a podcast, an interview, an article. That if that's repeating, you know, you're getting intuitive hits to do it. You know, like I said to, I say to people, we're not going to talk you into anything. You call us back, and if you get the feeling, let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah, do yeah. it. Let's do it. Yeah, you know? 100%. Yeah, Whatever. 100%. Yeah. Um, okay. So when I, when I come back, I want to I want to dive a little deeper into maybe some specifics on public relations and um, like you know when somebody signs up for you, what happens? What what do you do? You know, that type of thing. Oh. We'll be right back. Lack of mobility, your lifestyle, or occupation. You sit inactively way too many hours a day. Introducing Ellipse, the premium quality automatic seated exerciser that strengthens legs, increases mobility, and boosts circulation without physical strain or impact. It is so quiet that none of my coworkers even know I'm using it. Strengthen and tone your legs. Increase your mobility, flexibility, and balance. Plus, stimulate healthy circulation. My joints feel better. My knees feel 
feel better. My back feels better. It makes me feel stronger too. Perfect for home therapy. Whisper quiet to use while you work. My circulation is moving, I'm burning calories, and it makes me feel energetic. Call now and order Ellipse, the seated exerciser that strengthens legs, increases mobility, and boosts circulation. Call and get upgraded to the deluxe bundle. Get the faster motor for five miles of steps per hour. The step counter, the sport mat, and wireless remote. Call now. Hi folks, Joe Namath here. Did you know that I wear hearing aids? I love my hearing aids and I am here to help you get a deal on the same brand I wear. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get MD Hearing's revolutionary Neo hearing aids for just $297 a pair. The Neo is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. With rechargeable technology many customers say is superior to more expensive models. And you can get two Neo hearing aids with a 45-day risk-free trial, free shipping, and free lifetime US-based support for only $297. The Neo is nearly invisible with its tiny in-the-ear canal design. Call my friends at MD Hearing and get the over-the-counter hearing aids that I use for you. Call now and get not one, but two Neo hearing aids for just $297. 800-789-7885. Again, that's 800-789-7885. Are you ready to take charge of your health and well-being? UK Health Radio is your ultimate digital destination for cutting-edge health information and inspiration. At UK Health Radio, we know that good health is not merely the absence of disease but a state of complete physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Tune in to our wide range of expert-led shows where renowned health professionals share about the latest research, practical tips, and inspiring stories that will motivate you to live your healthiest life. Don't settle for anything less than vibrant health. Tune in to UKHealthRadio.com, the world's number one talk health radio and podcast platform. Well, welcome back, everybody. This is your host, Kendi Foster. I'm speaking with Steve Allen of Steve Allen Media. And uh, Steve, uh, no. yeah, let's talk no. about the process. You know, a lot of people are out there. I, I work with so many people that have books and programs and, uh, you know, and they really don't know much about, uh, you know, hi sure. hiring a PR agency or why they should do it. You know, sure. let's talk a little bit about that and the steps that happen. Yeah. Well, um, well put. Um it's like the, it's like that Tom Hanks uh, movie, Castaway. You know, would yeah. Tom Hanks have gotten off of that island any sooner if he could sit on the mountain with a flare, and the flare could go up ten feet? No, fifty feet, uh, uh, half a uh, could go up a mile, could go up five miles, could go. Up. Would any of us, one saw that flare? Could he have gotten off of that island sooner? He and Wilson could he have gotten off. And my answer is, yeah, that's what media does. Media sort of exposes you. It puts you in all different kinds of corners. Um, because what happens, people Google everybody. And if I Google you, Ken, or, or whatever else, oh, you on the morning show? What, you, you on, what? Good Morning America? You on CNN? Well, my perception changes of you. You, you must be... Uh, you must be, wow, separated from the pack. You must be better at what you do than others. Um, it's a, sort of a, a game changer. And it's something I work on as a human, not to judge. But if someone pulled in my driveway and they had got out with their convertible Mercedes Benz with a big watch and hair and a little puppy dog in the back, I'm judging. I, I can't, I, I, I slip, I slip. Well, that's what media does. Uh, you know, you get yourself on a real good podcast, a real good article, uh, you know, on, on the New York Times, New York Post, whatever, and they read about you. It changes the perception. So if you don't, it's like I said, a small company, if you don't have a publicist, you don't know what's going on. You do not want to know what's going on. You're not dealing with the media. It's a great tax write off. It's, it's something every company should have. And individuals who can afford it. If you don't have a publicist, you could be with Tom Hanks sitting up there hoping to get off the island. You know, by putting your flare into the sky, publishers, speaking engagements, 
increasing income, uh, visibility, and all those things are possible to not only take that media, but put it on your social media. You put it on your social media. Oh, that's a huge thing. That's a huge. You have a double whammy going. It's yeah. it's everything. You're gonna well, say you something. Know, I, and, and I think I think uh, you know I think today, especially with uh, podcasts and uh, you know. It, stations that you know were in the past you know nielsen rated stations where they you could really see you know your you'd identify your 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 audience right you know who your audience is right can you can we do that in media today i mean you know oh, yeah. you do that by targeting specific conscious shows let's say or what what do you do here well what happens if if, if a client comes aboard uh we take the very first month of the campaign and there is no fee uh, there is no fee. It's all, and you talk to the group. Usually there's four people on each campaign. And so you do Zooms and you meet everybody and you discuss out loud what you have and what your message could be. You allow the publicity team to read that, to understand you, to educate us. So what happens? Yeah, we have a million databases that are all you know, young women, older guys, uh, you know, people who are involved in business, and so, you know, all kinds of media, and it's all s separated. So now you decide what the best arrow in your quiver that we should shoot at that target audience. And you really m mostly know that only through education. So the more we talk to you for that four weeks and uh, do conference calls, we really have a kickoff that's strong. We know where we're going to go, what type of media. Yeah, yeah, everybody wants to be on the morning shows nationally. I get that. Everybody wants to be on Joe Rogan. I get that. I get that. It's funny. Uh, I, I put five people on the Oprah show back when, back when Oprah was cooking. And I remember sitting in, 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 in different meetings, and people go, do you have a deal with Oprah? And I go, yeah, we have a, I just had someone on only last month. <laughs> what? Oprah, whatever. You know, it is possible. It is possible. And what happens, yeah. and I know this is, you don't know. You don't know. I don't know who's guiding you. I don't know what messages you're getting. I don't know a lot about you, but I get to know you. And we send it out to the right people, and the right people will sit there, and they'll make that decision. Nobody twists anybody's arm and say, you put, got to put them on. It's, that's why sometimes I think people are guided. You know, you're always looking for a secretariat or a Riva Ridge. So, you know, you're always looking for horses that are going to win races for you. We're a great jockey. We are very good at being a jockey. But you're always looking for winners. So that winner has got to know inside, Ken. I go back to it again. That inner vibe, uh, you know, because they're out there. All these young Eckhart Tolle's, all these young uh, you know, May McCarthy's, uh, these Greg Hammers, they're all out there. You know, they're all out there. Yeah. Does that help? Well, they are, are, are all out there. And uh, for those of you that uh, would like to connect with Steve, we put on the screen there, steveallenmedia.com for my listening audience. Again, steveallen, A-L-L-E-N, media.com. If you want to find out a little bit more about Steve, by the way, please mention that you heard him on our show. If uh, when you when you connect with him and I, I have a feeling, Steve, you connect with people personally. Is that right? You, you, you're going to talk to them. Well, it, yeah. it's, it's, it's all about communication. It's yeah. all about communication. So, yes, yeah. of course we do. We have long talks. And uh, yes, we do. Yeah, yeah that's that's great. That's nice. well, Thank you, Ken. Yeah. Thank you, Ken. Yeah. Yeah, well, of course, you know, I, you know, I, I just, I love your clients and now I love you. I, you know, it's a kindred soul. So thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I've had such great people from you on the, on the show here. So it's been amazing. Well, Steve, we're out of time. I want to thank you again for being here and, um, you know, many blessings to you and I much success. And for all of you, I want to thank you for joining us today at the Voices of Courage show. Until next time, continue to seek and look for and do the impossible in your life. See the unseeable, know the unknowable, and you can do the impossible. Take care. Mm -hmm.